Hey guys, Crystal here, and you've probably noticed a bit of a theme on my channel lately. I've been doing a lot of wrap-up videos, 2017 end of year updates and stuff like that. And today I thought I would take a chance to go over some of my 2018 goals, many of which are a continuation of goals that I set for myself this year. Now my main goal and the one that is um, the most important to me really is to focus on my health. So if you've been following my story, you know that I went through a bit of an issue with my thyroid lately. I've, I have hypothyroidism and have had for well over 15 years now. I've been treated and have been okay, but in the last year and a half, my levels kind of um, readjusted themselves and my medication did not follow suit until three months ago. So I have felt a lot more energetic lately, but now that I have recovered some of the energy that I lost in the last year, I would like to now lose the 15 to 20 pounds that I put on because one of the symptoms of having a completely unusable thyroid or a very underactive thyroid is that you put on weight unexplained and it is very difficult to get it off. On top of that, I've developed PCOS symptoms, which I've also discussed in older videos, and these two things are related. So focusing on addressing my PCOS symptoms, um, dealing with any potential for insulin sensitivity that that might bring about, and concentrating on boosting my thyroid health, including like de-stressing, getting into a state of um, not just dieting, but fitness that works for me, that is not too high stress and is not going to damage my body because I've got other issues going on with my knees and stuff like that. So I'm just a fun little bag of tricks. Either way, it's um, it's just my main goal. I really need to focus on my health. My health is a priority because it affects every other aspect of my life, including my work life and my writing life. And those two things cannot work if my health is not working. So my main goal is definitely to focus on dealing with the remnants of that disturbance in my force. No, um, the, the, yeah, whatever remains of dealing with my underactive thyroid issues lately. I have another doctor's appointment in probably around June, six months from now, and we'll see what my levels look like. Right now, they're good. I'm healthy, I feel fine. I have way more energy than I have had in a very long time. And my other issues with my hair and my nails and stuff are, they're, they're coming along, they're getting better. So now it's just focusing and going back to a weight that feels right to me. I'm not saying that, you know, you have to be at a certain weight, but physically for my body and the way I feel comfortable, I feel like I'm, I'm carrying extra weight. And in the past I was much heavier. I don't want to go back down that road again. So it's a constant battle, especially when you have um, what are essentially hormone imbalances and that's the plan. So my main goal, not necessarily weight loss, but focusing on my health and hopefully weight loss and a better state of mind will follow. My other goal that goes along with that one is to definitely increase my protein intake as part of my plan to look into where my health is and how I'm eating and just everything else. I have started using my fitness pal again. I used to use it very consistently back in the day when I was first starting to deal with weight loss, when I um, first got my thyroid under control and was finally seeing the pounds going away. and. It had been a few years since I had consistently used it. Every so often I'll use it again just to kind of like track my macros and see where I'm at. Right now I realize that I am eating way more carbs and very little protein. I've always had a hard time getting protein in just because I have some issues with digesting like very protein heavy meals, but I really need to start upping my protein, especially if I want to build muscle and take care of some of my other issues with like fat retention and PCOS and all that. So protein is a priority on top of dealing with my health. So I am going to try to start supplementing again. I haven't had whey protein in a long time just because I had had issues with milk. I'm going to try it again, see how my body reacts to it. I remember doing okay with it. Um, I've tried some of the vegan proteins. I just hate how they taste and I hate that a lot of them have sucralose in them, which grosses me out. So whey is what is the most palatable to me other than collagen peptides, but collagen peptides are expensive and I'm gonna just try whey for a little bit, see how it goes, and if I can't make that work, then I'll switch over to collagen again, just because it's the only other way of supplementing protein that I can see myself following through on. I've done it in the past, I'll try to see what works for me now. 
Um, so adding more protein, focusing on weight loss and health and fitness and all that is really the top priority as far as like regaining my health and getting back to a state where I feel good about myself and my body and my everything else. So that's the plan. Um, writing goal wise, I am still working on what is now the sixth draft of my main manuscript. I would like to finish that up and even though I know it will never be perfect and I just have to let that go, I feel like it is definitely doing better, especially with all the beta feedback that I received. I am listening and I am following along with it. I've always been good about receiving criticism. I don't have any problems with taking pointers from people as far as like how to improve my storytelling. So I am working on that. And if all goes as planned, I do plan on trying to query and hoping for the best and expecting the worst to happen, but you have to start somewhere and the only way that I can start is if I actually put it out there. So that's the plan. I have I want to reach a state where I feel comfortable with sending it out to people and being completely aware that I will probably get a million rejections, but that's just the way it goes. So querying, that's a goal. We'll see what it looks like, but I will try it anyhow. Now my other goals are smaller and not as you know lofty as these so one is to really reduce some of my consumption I know that I've I've let go of some of my minimalist leanings in the last year it kind of goes hand in hand with my health because in having kind of a shitty state of mind and just being in a weird place I bought myself a lot of treats. So that's just the truth. I have let go of a lot of the habits I was building and I want to get back to those habits. I want to, I mean, it, it's not terrible, honestly. My house is not a hot mess or anything. I just feel like I have spent a little bit more than I should have and I want to go back to focusing on quality over quantity. I haven't been so bad about it as far as clothes and shoes and stuff like that, but I have overindulged in like books and comic books and a couple of toys and collectibles here and there. So I want to go back and just like rethink where my money is going and, and focus on less consumption. And finally, this channel. I would like to continue building it. I started this channel just to kind of like play around with video editing and get better at it and I enjoy doing that. I'm debating whether to even post these videos on the blog anymore because I feel like most of my YouTube traffic is coming straight from YouTube and other sources so I'm not sure that I even want to continue really like cross posting these to the, to the blog that's an idea so if anyone has any suggestions or feedback that's great feel free to drop it down below I'm not necessarily planning on growing the channel just because this is sort of like a just a venture for fun and just for me to kind of like get my voice out there and practice being on camera and editing videos so it's not really that I'm planning on growing this any further but I'm rethinking the direction it's taking and I like that I have started to just focus on writing and simple living and all the other little things so if you guys have any suggestions or feedback on that feel free to drop it down below and help me out on that goal so that's the plan but those are my main goals that's really where I'm at right now um, 2018 hopefully will be a better year than 2017 2016 was not the greatest either so I'm hoping for <laughs> at least personally a better year than the last couple of years everything else can't really fix it but we'll see how it goes. So that's the plan. Let me know what some of your goals are and feel free to comment down below. I'll talk to you guys later and happy Christmas and happy new year if I don't post this on time or if I did post it and it is now the new year. I'm bad at figuring out when these videos are going up. So that's the plan. Bye.